falling behind from very early ages, from five, from six, from seven, and are, and are irreparably falling behind by the age of 11. I, so, so I certainly agree that you need interventions to help these children, but that is my definition of fairness rather than comprehensive education. My definition of fairness is take the children who need special help and make sure that they get it. I completely disagree uh, with the age thing, and, and the truth is that all the school is very 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 actually different children at different stages and in different subjects will progress, which is why I like comprehensives, because you can actually do, you know, five good academic subjects and be absolutely hopeless at chemistry, but it doesn't mean that you're dumped into some secondary <laughs> modern where nobody takes you seriously. And I think that what's we've got to believe in the transformative impact of education. I want to I don't want to play if it's all fluffed or I don't want to act on fluffed or I have the best you know that you can for what you think. I don't put a money in it, that's what I was thinking. Mixed up in the uh, in the moral argument here, uh, uh, in extreme... Well, Chris, you saw the NHS, you can spend as much money as you want, yeah, anyway, because you think... Well, I already thought, it's not called out of the NHS. Once you've got happy children, you're walking and running, aren't you? They'll be up and running for themselves, happy children. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I see what you mean. Reach a certain density of like, you know, 15 a month, something like that, 10 a month. And you start to get, you know, even down to 5 for one, for the other subject. I guess I am amazed and then we Knowledge, what they know already. Sometimes be hundreds, we can't have people knocking about. Depends on what it is. I'm a comprehensive warrior. Remember, I mean, it's just. I thought about it for seven days as well, I guess. But you know, what kind of facility is the room, Mark? Be loved. Yeah, that's what we need. 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 Yeah, our system now is so uh, concerned about children's feelings, it's making everything irrelevant to them, and so they are have to address any obstacles, they don't have any failure, and everything's related to them. Cliff, along the last question that must have occurred to a lot of people listening to, to this debate, is, is there a sense now that there's some, some confusion or, or smudging between what is the responsibility Martin, of the family and what is the responsibility of the school? Very much so, yeah, that you put your finger on something. Um, a lot of families are failing, a lot of parents are failing. Schools are then taking on the failing schools. Wait, who? From our panel, Melanie Phillips, Claire Fox, Michael Portillo, Clifford Longley, and from me. Until the same time next week, goodbye. The moral maze was checked.